1977, I was staying at my grandfather's farm in rural West Virginia. I was a boy at the time, and my grandfather had always spoken about large, strange animals roaming about the property and warned me to lock my window at night and to be careful when walking around outside at night. Because of the perceived threat, my grandfather constantly kept a gun on hand at all times. Well, one evening I heard something outside my window as my grandfather fell asleep in the living room with his gun on his lap. I could hear a low growl from out past the window. So I looked but saw nothing in the window. Feeling relieved, I then went to get some candy from a bowl in the living room and that's when I observed a claw coming in through the window with the palm facing up as if it was going to push the window up. I clearly saw three fingers, the middle finger of which was the longest. The fingers reminded me of the creature in Krampus, specifically the scene where Krampus pointed his finger into the woman's face. I screamed in fright, which woke up my grandfather. The creature also screamed. My grandfather then went into fight mode and proceeded to hit the creature's fingers with his gun. Meanwhile, I grabbed a knife from nearby and also stabbed at its fingers. At that moment, my grandmother rushed into the room and turned on the outside light, which lit up the yard. I could then see the creature clearly standing in the window. I even looked into its eyes. The creature took off running just as my grandfather raised his gun to shoot it. The creature appeared to be angry and was growling as it ran. I felt so scared, I wet myself during the encounter. At some point, my grandmother stated that the creature had returned. It's back, she said. My grandmother admitted it had been seen around the property three years earlier, but had left. My grandparents assumed the creature had been killed, but it began reappearing again some two weeks prior to this encounter. I was upset as I had been playing on the property and should have been alerted to it. Then my grandparents told me about the first time Grandpa had encountered the creature back in 1974. My grandfather was up in a deer stand, bow hunting, when a strange creature attempted to climb the tree and enter the stand through a door latch. My grandfather shot at it and stabbed at it, but it never stopped coming. Eventually, it attempted to poke its nose through the opening in the stand. That's when my grandfather stabbed it in the nose. It managed to get a paw through and in retaliation, slashed the leg of my grandfather. The creature fled after that. Interestingly, the scar was visible on the nose of the creature standing at the window. As well, my grandfather also had a scar on his leg. My grandfather claimed that he waited in the stand for three hours before feeling safe enough to climb down and leave. My grandparents had never heard of a dogman at the time, so they just referred to it as a werewolf. Over the coming weeks after the 1974 tree stand encounter, my grandfather found dead farm animals on the property, apparently having been mauled by something very large and fierce. One day after the 1977 sighting in the window, 
when my grandfather failed to show up to pick me up from school, I walked home to find the old man dead in his truck, mauled in a similar fashion as the farm animals. Supposedly, the police would come to the conclusion that he had died from an attack by an unknown animal. So it appears that the dog man was bent on revenge.